Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Let's meet today's contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to all three of you in this Jeopardy round. The categories for the Jeopardy round are... What's the word? Olive oil. Manimal. The Summer Olympics. Historic women. And Bible belts. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. On a snail, an omatophore is a stalk with this at the end. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the pl right. <laughs> Player one, if you set some Chinese punk on fire, it's because Chinese punk is this, from the Latin for set on fire. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Right you are. Player one, pick again. Here's Kelly. When light passes through a prism, it splits into its various colors, the visible one of these. It's player one. Whoa! Yes. Please pick again, player one. It's the medium on which you're traveling if you're in a hoy. Player one. Good. We return to you, player one. If you've got quinsy, also known as tonsillitis, you've got swelling in this part of your body. Yes, player one. Yes. Choose again, player one. Most U.S. produced olive oil comes from this state, so watch out, you dancing raisins. Okay, player two. That's it. You get to pick again, player two. It's pure and delicious. The oil that's the cold-pressed result of the first pressing of olives is extra this. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Hey, you're right. Select again. Here's a pH test. All olive oils are graded in accordance with the degree of this they contain. Lower is better. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> you again, player one. It's the Daily Double. And you have the lead. You need to select your wager. Answer. This Greek dish of lamb marinated in olive oil and spices, grilled and skewered, gets its name from the Greek for skewer. That puts you even further ahead. Player one. Back to you. This L.A. Area Institute's famed Olive Walk is harvested for olive oil named for the school. Player two. That's correct. You get to pick again, player two. In a Rudyard Kipling story, one of these animals saves a family from a deadly cobra. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> player one, you pick again. A rhesus or a macaque? Player three. 
<laughs> right. Select again. Of the three animals on Ontario Canada's coat of arms, the one that fits the category. Let's hear it, player three. Right. Ah, yeah! Player three, pick again. The scarlet species of this tropical flyer is known for its brilliant plumage and strong voice. Yes, player two. That's correct. <laughs> Choose again, player two. We're sure you'll just love Ondatra zabethicus, this rodent. It's player one. That's right, way to go. You again, player one. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. Japan scored one of the biggest upsets in Olympic history in 2008, beating the U.S. to win the gold medal in this sport. Okay, player one. Good for you. Player one, back to you. A platypus was one of the mascots of the 2000 games held in this city. It's player two. Good. We return to you, player Different strokes. Two. In 2008, Rebecca Sony won Olympic gold in 200-meter breaststroke. Natalie Coughlin in 100-meter this. Yes, player two. Uh, that is correct. Uh, Please pick again, player two. The 1972 games at this German city were the scene of terrorism and tragedy. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. Good. <laughs> player one, back to you. Jin Young Lee and Jin Min Park were members of this country's 2008 gold medal winning baseball team. Player three? You are correct. You get to pick again, player three. This Secretary of State, whose first name is from a musical term, had originally planned to be a concert pianist. It's player two. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Player two, back to you. Shortly after her disappearance, her publisher, husband George Putnam, released Last Flight, containing her diaries. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah! That is correct. You again, player three. The Moses of her people. She helped hundreds of slaves escape along the Underground Railroad. Okay, player three. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> player three. She met her beloved teacher, Anne Sullivan, in 1887. Yes, player two. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player two. You pick again, please. This first American woman in space heads a company geared to girls who are interested in science and math. Player one? Yes. Choose again, player one. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says that if someone smiteth you here, offer also the other. Yes, player two. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> Select again. After striking down his brother in Genesis, this man said, My punishment is greater than I can bear. It's player three. <laughs> That's right, way to go. 
Player 3, back to you. In Numbers chapter 20, after the Israelites complained, Moses smote one of these twice, and water came out. Okay, Player 3. Correct. Please pick again, player three. In a book named for Moses' successor, this man smites the Gibeonites, the Hebronites, and the Eglonites. Player two. That is correct. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. In Judges, Samson whopped on 1,000 Philistines with this part of an ass. Let's hear it, player two. Yes. Player three will select first in double jeopardy right after this. Categories for the double jeopardy round are Eat well. B is for Bard. Scary words. 1960s TV. U.S. history. And the elements. Hey, it's still anyone's game in Player 3. You get to select first. Eat a salad with this vegetable that can be classified as butterhead, crisp head, leaf, or romaine. It's player one. Yeah. Good for you. We return to you, player Some one. Some of the recommended whole types of this food pyramid product are quinoa, millet, sorghum, and barley. Player one. Player one, back. Among legumes, a good source of protein are peas and this type of seed, such as the pinto, white, or black variety. Okay, player one. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> player one, here's Kelly with the clue. Seen here is the hobo sign, meaning that this staple of life is available ahead. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right. Player one, if you want to go nuts, eat this nut native to Brazil and taken to Asia by Portuguese missionaries. Yes, player two. Correct. Select again. Gassy surname of Sir Toby in Twelfth Night. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> right. You again, player three. This ghostly guy is described by the witches as lesser than Macbeth and greater. Yes, player two. Hey, you're right. We return to you, player two. His downfall was at Philippi. It's player two. Good. <laughs> Please pick again, player two. And three. One of the daily double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. What'll it be? The clue. At the end of Much Ado About Nothing, Benedict quiets this love of his with a kiss. You've moved up to first place. Player two, you pick a... In The Taming of the Shrew, she's courted by three men. Player one. Good. You get to pick again, player one.
Bibliophobia, a fear of these might hurt you if you want to continue your studies. Okay, player two. Choose again, player two. If you suffer from heliophobia, a fear of this, you might be a vampire. Yes, player three. Yeah! You are correct. You again, player three. If you have pluviophobia, the fear of this weather condition, we probably won't find you singing in it. It's player three. That's correct. Please pick again, player three. Ah. Answer, the second daily double, player three. You are currently in last place. What are you going to wager? Okay, here is the clue. If you've got dendrophobia, a fear of these, we suggest not climbing any. You got it. Player three. If you have stygiophobia derived from the river Styx, you have a fear of this, so act right. Player one. Right. Player one, you pick again, please. First aired on September 30th, 1963, Opie the Birdman has become a classic episode of this sitcom. Okay, player one. Whoa! Yes. We return to you, player one. The never used lyrics of its theme song were written by Gene Roddenberry. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. <laughs> Select again. On The Addams Family, Ted Cassidy played not only Lurch, but this disembodied hand as well. Yes, player three. <laughs> correct. <laughs> player three, back to you. On August 29th, 1967, he finally caught up with the one-armed man. Okay, player one. That's it. You get to pick again, player one. In 1964, Mary Tyler Moore won her first Emmy as this new Rochelle housewife. It's player three. Yes. Choose again, player three. On August 21st, 1959, it became our 50th state. Player one. Woo! Right. Player one, back to you. In 1963, he spoke of his dream that his children would one day not be judged by the color of their skin. Let's hear it, player three. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player three, back. It's the period from 1920 to 1933 when alcoholic beverages were illegal. Player three. That's right. Way to go. You again. Player three. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. This U.S. company introduced the first TV dinner in 1954. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Stephen Douglas proposed the act that repealed the Missouri Compromise and created Kansas and this territory. Okay, player one. Right. 
Please pick again, player one. Because sound travels 2.7 times faster in this gas than in air, inhaling it makes your voice higher. Yes, player two. That's ah, correct. Yeah. You get to pick again, player two. Neon, argon, and radon are among these gases formerly called rare or inert. It's player three. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Choose again, player three. Superman knows its atomic number is 36. Yes, player three. Yep. Player three, you pick again. This very hard metal is named for the children of Uranus and Gia. Player two. Yes. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? Harold Croto and others found this common element had a new molecular form, the fullerene. Okay, player two. You got it. I'll see you all for Final Jeopardy in just a moment. Now Final Jeopardy coming right up right now with this category. Traveling the globe. Please enter your wager. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Here's your final Jeopardy clue. Flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. Your response? With that correct Woo! response, you will gain Let's see your response. And that ah! correct response will <laughs> add What did you put as your response? And this correct Woo! response will add how much hey, to your score? Hey, hey. Congratulations to you, player one. So long, everybody.